So I've got another two super cheap mouses or mice or rodents from eBay. Each one was just one dollar including shipping. Those are wired USB mice. And this one is quite big. It's very good for my big hand. And also a branded Lenovo mouse. It's definitely not. Both of them are classic construction with two buttons, scrolling wheels and red LEDs. So let's do the test on the computer starting with this red one. And I have a paper with texture for testing. This one works on the texture. It works on white paper. It works on shiny plastic and it even works on a wooden table. And the other one? Not really. White paper. Completely nothing. Plastic. So so. And the table. Absolutely nothing. This is just rubbish. So this one works really well and for just one dollar including shipping is just absolutely amazing. But this one is completely useless and I wonder why do they even sell this. I was trying to figure out what is wrong with this one and I have noticed one thing. This one has nice even illumination. But this one projects some strange pattern. This is definitely not even illumination. So it seems to me that the design was originally made for a wide beam LED, but later it was swapped for a narrow beam LED, maybe because it was one cent cheaper. This is just the way how Chinese guys design stuff. But anyway, let's take a look inside. I will start with this one. There is one screw as usually. And that's it. There is a light guide, a board, there are the two buttons, and the third button for the scrolling wheel, and its sensor, two capacitors, an electrolytic and ceramic capacitor, the LED, its resistor, and the chip, which does completely everything. There is the sensor and the cable was probably supposed to be connected using a connector but they ended up soldering it directly to the board. It seems that in the original design this button was the same as this one but they have used this type because probably it was a little bit cheaper. There are some components omitted on the board but anyway it works. And there are some splashes of solder on the board but luckily they don't make a short circuit. But I think for one dollar this is definitely not bad. And now let's open the other one. And it looks almost the same. Two buttons and one smaller button. The sensor. Chip, LED, resistor, few capacitors, and that's it. Everything seems okay in it, and I believe that the only problem is a wrong choice of the LED type. The illumination really seems wrong. So let's swap the LED for a different type and see what happens. So I have swapped the LED for a blue one with much wider beam, and let's try this out. Now that's a little better, but still not perfect. And even with the green one, it's still not very satisfying. So I think this is a poor design in general. And let's try how this one works with a green LED. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. And what about the blue LED in this one? Good, 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 good. So the conclusion is that it is really possible to buy a good mouse for one dollar including shipping, like this one. 
and this one works really well with the original red LED. It also works with green one and it works really well with blue LED. But it's definitely not always as good. This one probably has a poor choice of LED and maybe low quality sensor or a poor design of the light guide. And it makes this fake Lenovo mouse almost useless. So this time it was one really good and one really bad. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.